the MATLAB Distributed Computing Toolbox, along with the MATLAB Distributed Computing Engine on the CAC Cluster Flux, allows users to be able to use multiple nodes working on a single MATLAB computation that has been written to take advantage of it. There's two different ways of taking advantage of it. One is called the torque method, the other is the MPI exec method. The torque method is a method where MATLAB submits your parallel job for you. The downside to this is that um, you have to leave the parent MATLAB running on the login nodes for an extended period of time, where if the login node crashes, the job may die. The uh, benefit is, is you don't have to write any PBS files. The second method, the MPI exec method, involves submitting a MATLAB job that would then start up the distributed computing engine. Uh, the benefit of this is that you don't have to have the parent uh, MATLAB living on the login node. The downside is there's some extra configuration involved. To begin, you have to connect to the cluster using an X server. This won't be uh, covered here, uh, but I'm doing it here from um, a Mac. So SSH flux dash login dot engine dot emish dot edu with your unique name, login with your password. To support the MPI exec configuration, you need to make sure that MATLAB is in your default modules. As you can see here, uh, MATLAB 2010B is automatically loaded when I logged in. That lets me know that it's correctly loaded in my default modules. The way I did that was by editing my home directory, private modules, default, and I have in here module load MATLAB. That is required to have MATLAB with MPI exec work automatically. So once that is done, start up MATLAB. When MATLAB is started using X forwarding, the entire graphical interface will appear on your system. You'll notice though that the files on the left hand side are the ones that live inside your home directory on the cluster. To create a parallel configuration for MPI exec, uh, once the MATLAB GUI is ready, click on Parallel, Manage Configurations. I've already created one here, but I will create a new one from scratch. Click File, New, MPI Exec. Give it a configuration name. This is something you need to remember because this is what you will have to put inside your MATLAB script. So I'm going to call this MPI Exec Flux. The only settings that need to be set are, uh, it means a setting environment variable, set to set ENV. The location of the MPI exec executable should be currently set to slash home slash software slash RHEL5 slash MPI exec slash 0.83 slash bin slash MPI exec. For the submit arguments, change it to dash dash comm equals pmi now we only need to set this up once so click ok see our new uh, parallel configuration called mpi exec flux there uh, don't click start validation it will fail if you run it just on the regular login node so you can close that and you can close this regular matlab Next, we need to create a special file that tells MATLAB how to use an MPI library that takes advantage of the Flux clusters in Finiban. To do this, create a directory in your home called MATLAB if it doesn't already exist. Inside that directory, create a file called MPI lib with capital L uh, conf with capital C dot M. That file should contain these exact contents. You need to make sure that lib is set to the library that lives in this location. Once that file is in place, MPI exec with MATLAB should work. So let's go ahead and submit an interactive job and see how this works. In this case, I'm, I'm submitting an interactive job asking for 12 cores that live on anywhere on the Flux cluster. I'm asking for one MATLAB license. This is the Grez equals MATLAB colon one. This is the parent MATLAB that's going to spawn all the engines. Then I need to separate my different license requests with a percent sign, and I need to MATLAB distrib comp engine colon 12. That's the number of engines I'm going to use. So the number of nodes, in this case cores or nodes times PPN needs to equal 
the number of engine licenses I request. I'm submitting to my allocation on Flux. The job has started now. Uh, so this is my PBS job. You'll see that if I look at my jobs on the cluster using QStat, that I have one job running that's asking for 12 cores. If I look at the nodes I was assigned, you will notice that some of my CPUs were assigned on Nix 5000, the others were assigned on 5164. So unlike the MATLAB local configuration that MATLAB comes with, I can now take advantage of multiple CPUs. So I'm going to start MATLAB. Now normally what I would type here would be a function that I would call using MATLAB minus R. But in this case, I'm going to do it manually. So now I'm going to use MATLAB pool open. In this case, I need to give it to configuration. So MPI exec flux, and then the number of cores I want to start up on. Since I had requested 12 and I requested 12 licenses, I'm putting in 12. So you need to edit your file every time you change the number of CPs you ask for. I run that. It'll say that starting up to configuration. And he says connected to 12 labs. So now if I do something like a PAR4 or SPMD, it will take place on 12 CPUs on two different nodes utilizing those 12 CPUs and their adjacent memory. This will allow for doing jobs larger than a single MATLAB uh, instance can finish in a reasonable amount of time. It also allows you to work on MATLAB problems that consume more memory than a single flux node provides. Uh, when finished uh, running your code, you need to run MATLAB pool close and that will shut it down. So you need to package this all up as a, a PBS job that you can submit and be able to work with uh, hands-free. If you have any questions, please send your questions to flux-support at umich.edu.